how to add an is latest flag to Power Query and the thought process I went through to come up with the solution. Let's go. This example is about Power Query, which can be used in Excel or Power BI. It's not about writing Excel formulas to do this. Um, you could write an easy Excel formula. This is about how to do it in Power Query and my thought process about how I came up with a solution. So for example, if I change this back to the ninth and refresh this Power Query table, you'll see that the 11th is now flagged as true. Let's see how I did this. So I click in my source table and go to table slash range. Now we're in the Power Query screen. I'm going to go Control Shift Plus just to zoom in. So Control Shift Plus, that helps you zoom in in Power Query so everybody can see. Right, let's just tidy up a couple of things. I'm going to change this to a date. And then to help me with the rest of what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this little step here and I'm going to call it starting point. So what I want to end up with is a column with true false in it for the latest dates. Um, so everything here that's the 11th is going to be flagged as true. Now I don't know how to add a column with that formula in. So I'm going to break it into two parts. I know how to find the latest date. So I can filter this date purchase column for a date filter is latest. Okay, so this is step one of the process. Now this physically filters the table. That's not the end result I want, but it gives me the code that I need to add a column. So what we're looking at is the starting point table. And then we're saying, let this thing that we're going to name as latest, it's just a placeholder, like a variable or an argument. This latest equals the max of the date purchase column. So list.max, list is the column. It's the maximum purchase date, which is the 11th. Then it runs through and says for each item, every row, bring me back where the date purchased equals that variable, that, that parameter or argument. Okay, We don't want this table select rows. However, I, to write a table add columns function, I'm never quite sure on the parameters and things. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually go back up a step and I am going to add a column I'm going to add a custom column and it's insert it. And simply, I'm going to put a one in that column. So there we go. It's saying table.add column. Here's the previous name. Here's the name of the column, which I should really call uh, is latest. And then for each row, put a one in there. And it's this bit that I want to replace. So I'm going to go back here. It's this part of the formula, but just to make it really easy, I am going to change this to starting point. Okay, it's this bit that I want to copy. Control C. Okay, go here and replace this bit. Control V. It's gone on to a second line. Let me show you the full formula. And as you can see um, down below, it's actually put in a true against the 11th, a true against the 11th, and another true here. Awesome, it's worked. I don't need this last step now, that was just a helper. And I'll just change this to a true false, and I'll call this the result. And we're done, but that's how I worked it out. I knew there was a is latest filter. I knew there was an add column button, worked out which bits to combine. And now I can go home, close, close and load two, and I'll end up with the same table like this, table, existing worksheet just here. There we go with the trues, trues and trues. And if I change a couple of these to like the 13th of November, and I'll change this one, and I refresh this. 
my true appears here and here against the 13th and the 13th. Awesome. And I can refresh this one just to show it happening up here, the one I prepared earlier. There we go. So that's what I did. Hope you find that thought process and that way of building that formula useful. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe. Please share. And I'll catch you next time.